I, these have a nice look. They're certified international, yep. And then I'm trying to figure out what this piece is. Like, it's got, it's got a place, you know, to hang it like that, but what would you do with that? Look at that giant flower. What is that for? Is it just, oh, this is a big box that opens, I'm looking. It doesn't say if it's employed, but boy, he sure has the look. All right, we have made it to the lamps. What is this? He's not a lamp, he's a, he's a lamp. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, it is another good willing day. It's weird though, the last time I was on here, it was all sunshiny and beautiful. Oh no, not today. We've got rain again, but that's okay. We are out and about, where are we? I'm near my mom's house because, well, she's with me and we're shopping today. <laughs> so I picked mom up and we came over to the Goodwill that was closest to her and uh, we need to get in there and get shop done. There's our, our very ugly skies today. The tortoises love this though. The tortoises were all out having a good time this morning. All right. Let's see, anything? No, that's another day. Okay, mom, you pick the lucky cart. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let her pick the lucky cart. Oh, is it that one? No, I don't think it's that one. I think, it, I think it might be this one. I think, you pull, there we go, look, look. We had to work for it, we had to work for this one. Purple tags are 50% off. Should we head over there first? Yep. Might as well, might as well. See what we've got over in the tchotchke section. These are kind of pretty. They're very contemporary, but I, these have a nice look. They're certified international, yep. These will chip if you look at them funny. So I don't really deal with that brand. Avon. Definitely, Collector Plate and Avon are two strikes against it. These look a bit like an Anthropology brand. They're a green box, not Anthropology, not an Anthropology. I don't think those are an Anthropology brand. This is like one of those fabric plates. I don't even know why I'm looking at plates. Why am I looking at plates? I don't need to be looking at plates. All these little wood pieces, what'd you find? <gasps> Is there a turtle in there? Oh, there's a couple of little turtles. Uh-oh. Oh, let's see. Let's see, we've got $5.99 and we've got a little, uh, that looks Native American and, oh, there's an elephant in there that I could sell. Oh, there's two elephants in there I could sell. So then that uh, justifies it because now I'm not just buying turtles. I'm trying to figure out what this was for, all these little wood locks it looks like cedar too but I don't know what just little things to do something what I don't know I don't know either it's kind of pretty a little plate summertime teddies oh these are nice bookends they are marble made in India they came from probably like a home goods I bet they have them priced separate though. Of course they do. So now they're $20 instead of 10. Hmm. I would have paid 10 for them. I would have done that. But I can't pay 20. These are cute, but they're just little Russ collectibles. Let's see what we've got over here. A little uh, bird made in Taiwanese vintage. She's just not Super exciting. Studio Nova. See a little shoe collection theme. What is this? He's got a name in there. Reiki? $3.99. It's kind of an odd bird. It's got a chip. 
An odd bird with a chip. Century of shoes. Trinket box. Oop, it's ten bucks. Sure, you're ten bucks also. They're getting ready to do a uh, a red tag sale. So I find that they uh it's missing this little thing, yeah. I find that when they're getting ready for their red tag sale, they just start making a bunch of stuff red tag. What is this? That's a Czechoslovakia. That is a nice little piece. It does have one little tiny chip, but you know what? I love the color and I love the design of it. Four bucks, I'll do it. What do we got back here? We've got pretty Satsuma looking vase. It's a Toyo. Look at that peacock. It's pretty. Six dollars on that one. I feel like that would be an easy sell with that peacock. If it was a different design, maybe not, but peacocks are really, really desirable. So we'll pick him up too. What are these baggies? Nope. Little potpourri and shells type things. Let's look what this little plate is. It looks like EAPG. Nope, it's imperial glass. It is imperial glass. Old glory. It's kind of nice. It's a 1970s. $12.99. Probably that's about where it sells for. I will do some research as I'm editing this video and pop something on the screen so that you uh, have that information. Oh my. Look at that. What are you? Oh, it's like a paper mache. Bust. That, that's really cool. What a great display piece. I think I'm going to get that for the store for our boutique section because it could hang a necklace on that. Make that look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. That's interesting. Oh, what does that say? Siember, Mexico. Oh, I'm gonna leave that one. Let's see what else. Oh, I know there's there's some over here too, but their spring is here. Don't we wish? Don't you wish we could just skip winter? I would like to just skip winter. I don't know. I'd have to hold on to that for a while. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be good. I am going to be good. I do see the little bird bell here. He doesn't have a clapper. He doesn't have something here that's supposed to be here too. So we're gonna leave him. Hmm, these are Avon, I have found out, with the little hummingbird etch. I have sold some of those in the past. Now these are not anything like maker wise anything exciting but because they're cobalt blue I have sold these in the past unfortunately they're four dollars each so I cannot pay eight for them they sell in like like the twelve to fifteen dollar range for a pair I like these little stacking stars too but those are six dollars each that also looks like an EAPG piece Back here is kind of nice one, but just not a lot of resale. Oh, how did I miss that? What? 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 Six dollars, and there are five pieces in each one. They are the paper mache fruit, which I love. So, oh, that one's got a mushroom. Okay, we are picking those up, and then I'm trying to figure out what this piece is like it's got it's got a place you know to hang it like that but what would you do with that what would you do with that mom i don't either i mean it would sit like that and do so oh and you could do it twice because there's two <laughs> squirrel this looks like a little bird feeder or a bird um bird bath but $15. I'd have probably picked that up for like $6. Then there's a 
glass basket. A lot of people call these Murano. They are definitely not Murano. Oh, this one is block crystal. It still has its little thing. 15, little high for me. So we're gonna leave that. Look at that giant flower. What is that for? Is it just, oh, just a wall hanging? It is. And it's like plaster and it's like huge. And I mean, it's a great color and all, but no, 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 we're gonna leave that. I see a sticker on this candle, Bayer or Bayer, B-E-Y-E-R. But again, it's $6 per candle. Just can't, just can't justify that. All right, candles, candles. Glossy baby, perhaps? It's a broken trinket. What'd you find? Oh, a little glass, little glass basket. Uh, I don't see anything terribly exciting. This is really pretty. Bavarian, hand-painted porcelain, but again, not, not super, not super duper exciting. Oh, more stuff in boxes. Is it candles? What's it say? I can't read the it. Residence Mandarin Oriental Las Vegas. I think that hotel actually closed down. Does it? There it goes. Oh, oh my, what is it? <laughs> oh, you know what? It's um a reverse painted. Look, they do this painting on the inside. Let me see what that little sheet says that this is. Was this given to like special guests or something? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just a card that, there. That's what it says right there. Um, Royalcurio.com. They're asking $25 a piece on these and I don't know enough about that to uh, be able to swing on that. What is that? Little ceramic chili peppers. Oh, oh my. We have a, a hunt scene here which I don't like, I don't, I don't like it. Okay, the last time I said that I got in trouble, but what about the people that have to hunt to feed their families? I'm cool with that, okay? I'm cool with that. I just, I don't wanna glorify it in a piece of glass. I mean, it's great, but yeah. <laughs> no matter what I say, I'm gonna be in trouble there. I was hoping that was older. It is not, that's a new piece. That is a home goods piece as well. Lots of home goods stuff showing up at the stores. Just a plain birdhouse. Oh my goodness, there is just a lot of newer contemporary stuff showing up these days. This is a big box that opens. I'm looking to see, oh, candles, there you go. Well, that's an interesting wreath, isn't it? That's very, uh, very fashionable. Oh my, what are these? Are these tiles? They are. Is this from like some story that I should know? 10 bucks. What was our color? What was the color? Was it purple? I can't remember what the color was now. I mean, these are very, very nice. I just don't know that they're $10 nice. I mean, not for me. Oh my gosh, look at this dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's humongous. There's no way I'm shipping that. There's no way I am shipping that. Let's see what the seal is back here. He is $13. It's got a cool look to him. Would have had some kind of a little bowl right there. Oh my, my, my. What's this piece? Is it purple? Cause, oh, look at that, 1954. Unfortunately, it does have a bit of chipping along the edges, which is probably why it's still here. All right. 
I think I remember now why I don't come to this store very often. They tend to price a little bit on the higher side, and I can do better at other stores who are just a little bit more reseller friendly. He's cute. 2001. Little mouse trinket. Like, you couldn't really even put anything in there. That That's not really a functional trinket box, I must say. Oh my. Little elephant feeder. Very, very delicate. We do have a glass dolphin, but he is eight dollars. Okay. Oh, and then there's another big doggy. Oh, a siesta little set is really cool. I do like this owl. It's almost like a little doorstop owl. Now, my eye is on this. I know, I know I say it a lot, and it's about ready to start. The assemblages will be starting, and I will need little things like this for my Christmas scenes. Unfortunately, it's $4. So, I have to be careful, you know, how much money in materials that I put into them for what I can sell them for at the end. So if I paid $4 a piece for the things that I make them out of, I uh, definitely wouldn't make any money. That's a very, very pretty vase. You are Laura Ashley. Okay, that's why I recognized it. I find a lot of textiles that are Laura Ashley. It's really pretty. It's $10, though. And this looks like a Carruth. Let's see if it's signed. There it is. It is. It is a Carruth for $4.99. See, that one we'll take. This is an interesting piece. Lee Yoon Patent Products. It's vintage, but not super exciting to me. All right, I don't see anything else. Yes, the chef is cute, but we have no need for a large chef with plates. Aw, horses. He's got a chipped ear. I don't even know that Rachel has any more room on her shelf for any more horses right now. Who's that? Laura, oh my goodness, how do you read that name? I don't know. It's cute though, look at the little sock monkey animals and such. It's a very, very cute little print. Ooh, cute little shelves. I see lots of stuff I would potentially buy if the price was different. I'm just not, I'm just not digging the prices like this is this the top to a shaker box it is oh is that box here somewhere oh, i want the whole box not just the chicken lid mm. i it, that box would be in this section and i don't i don't see it Ugh, that's a shame that is a shame because i like that that uh, is just a piece of log made into a candle holder. All right, let's see. What else is exciting here? This is kind of cool. Is it old or just made to look old? I feel like it's just made to look old. Yep, Marshalls. If it was truly an old one, that would be pretty outstanding. And then there was a bread box. Oh, I like this bread box. $12.99. I don't like the price of that bread box. Oh goodness. Oh, ouch. <laughs> it's got little things sticking out, but pine cone candle holders do quite well. Unfortunately, those are $12.99 and they're broken. What is going on, Goodwill? Holy smokers. Okay, I guess that's going to keep me from overloading the cart, right? Kind of a cool little box, but a 15. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. I like the look of this shelf. I feel like this is like a Hobby Lobby, you know, again, vintage inspired piece. But that has a really nice look to it. And then I was getting under here to see these little copper punched 
art pieces. A Kohler creation. You know what? Or was it green? Was green? I don't remember. I need to go look and see what the color is. Okay. Mom's gonna, mom's gonna go look and see what the color is. Because if, if, if these were half price, I would pick these up. But no, I feel like, look at the date. Those just came out. These are not going to be half price. Is it worth eight? I don't think it's worth eight bucks to me. I just, ugh. I like them. I like them a lot. Just not for that price. Okay, so it's purple. Purple, purple, purple is the color. Purple. Purple. I'm saying it many times, so it's in my brain. Purple. And I'll probably still forget. <laughs> Pretty birdie. Eight dollars. Cute little dog. Oh, he's purple. <laughs> I don't know why somebody was peeling off his purple tag. Starfish candle holder. Lots of little primitives, so probably all got donated at the same time by someone that had like a primitive kitchen. Let's see. Got a lot of uh, metalware here. And there is a tollware tray. Oh, $8. Do I want to pay 8 they sell for 20 to 25 uh, so I really, in this condition, I just can't do eight. Uh, see all the scratches, because and, and these scratches come from having one of these dreaded plate holders on it. Those things are so bad. But hopefully someone will rescue that. Hopefully someone that's not a reseller and that that $8 is a good price. That would be nifty. What does that hold? What are you? What do you organize? Ooh. Does that hang on like the inside of a cabinet door? I know it's for a brush and a styling thing, but I'm wondering like that basket's very functional. I feel like that's a that's a good little bathroom thing. I'm for eight dollars though, and I don't know if that's a good price. I feel like I could get one off Amazon for close to that. So we're not gonna do it. Uh oh, we've got a hockey puck. Gary B. Batura Commissioner. Oh, it's the Mighty Ducks. It's two ninety nine. You know who deals in a lot of hockey stuff? I don't know uh, what the value of these. It looks like this is a game puck. It actually, does you can tell because it's got some. It's got some damage, which you would expect if it was a game played puck. You know, for three bucks, I'm gonna get this and give it to Will. Let's see what this little set of trays is here. They have an interesting look. Made by Karma. Hexagon enamel tray set of three beige. They're cute, but they're all priced separate, so we'll leave those. All right, we've got glassware. Well, those are kind of cool looking. I'm not going to pick them up, but they were worth a, a little feelsy. They were a little on the light side. That's an interesting looking. Oh, it's got some weight to it. Oh, look at that. $14.99. Probably like at Walmart Target or something like that. Oh, they color block theirs a little bit. I'm just noticing that we are right underneath a speaker oh my goodness this is a pretty drip not for food use no then i can't do it i can't buy a mug that's uh then not for food use he's cute spritz he's six dollars he was only 10 to begin with that means usually on the resale market, unless it's something super vintage, it's not going to be worth a whole bunch. That's interesting. Noah actually got his room fairly well decorated. He is ahead of all of us on the decorating train now. Maybe we can get him to do a little Noah cam. If not in this video, we'll try to get him to do one in the next one. Oh yeah, old potpourri. We don't do the potpourri. Yeah. You know what I see though? I see, <laughs> I see some more veggies. I got more veggies. What is this? 
Just a little, oh, it's coming apart. Okay, don't touch it, Danny. I don't want to be the one that's responsible for it coming apart. Oh, wait, what do we have up here? Oh, Ooh, I like these little wildflowers. I could use these little dainty flowers in my crafting. All right, I'm going to pick those up. And I see something else that I love. Not for resale, for personal. Uh, because I don't grow real things too well, but I don't want to pay eight. I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap. Oh, their plastic section is pretty stuffed. Let's see if there's anything exciting. I'm not seeing anything. Little enamelware cups are cute. I have some of these that I am going to do something with. I'm going to make little stuff like this i'm gonna make some big stuff i've got every size you can imagine of container and things that i'm gonna use that is starting up very very soon glassware it's one of the sections i'm not super enthusiastic about hey you know what i found out and i think this is them i think this is fitz and floyd they make uh glassware with this weird gold coppery looking base and I only know that because I found some that had the original label. This is how we learn. You just stockpile little things like that in your brain. And you go, oh yeah, I just, I just researched that. I just looked that up. I think these are federal glass. They went $3 a glass. And that's, they only sell maybe for like $5 a glass, $5 to $8 a glass. So can't do that. Got some pretty purple. These look like Tierra, Indiana Tierra glass. Three dollars each. Ooh. Who are you? That one just says made in China. Hmm. You fooled me for a second. Oh my goodness, mugs. Again, see these are vintage, just not worth a whole bunch on resale. Just like Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn is done for the most part. Oh look, another M&M mug. Oh, this one's got a little, little chipping. I already sold my green one. I'll look for more that don't have the chipping. Coffee, that's a nice, nice, pretty functional coffee mug. And uh, nothing down here. Got all their silverware on a little end cap here. I was looking for the wood handled stuff. Get enough of that together and you can make a pretty penny on it. And the plate section, another section that isn't super tempting unless it's something really, really good. Look at this, it's Dublin Collection Crystal. Made in China. That's just, that's just not nice. And then you've got more tiara glass here in the amber plates. Oh, and they got the little dessert size as well. These are probably a good pickup for somebody. Made by us, made with you. And they're just little glasses. Oh, we got some bougie little golden squash and pumpkins. Glass plates. What are those? Not marked. What are these? Oh, it's more. More of the just plain little glasses. Time and table. Get out of somebody's way here. Yeah. Nothing else. Oh, these are these are pretty. American. Uh -huh, don't even make me say it. I always get in trouble. Pretty cobalt blue, but not something. Oh, look at that. It's the same. Uh, the little cars and things 
and these little kind of dessert bowls. Now those I could do something with for $2 each. Cute little pumpkin. Blue mist, pretty. Oh, it's almost turkey platter season. I cannot believe, I cannot believe. Like the year is just sailing by. Why is it when I was a kid, it seemed like a year was like forever? Like a year just didn't go this fast. Oh, these are sloths. Little, uh, little appetizer trays, they hold your wine glass too. Candle holders. Oh, I hear stuff breaking. Ooh. Now, again, these are not high on the resale that value, but they're super cool. I wish they were a little higher on the resale value because they are so cool looking, but it's $6 a piece. Just can't do it. Just can't do it. And here's more um, of the tiara. It's also known as sandwich glass. It's like when you see this little texture in here, sandwich glass. It's made by uh, Indiana Glass, Tierra. Just not, just not a real big seller, especially for the hassle factor involved with, you know, packing and shipping and getting that safely to its new destination. They're nice crystal uh, salt and peppers. I like those. Corn, I see corn, corn cob holders. Now oh, these are cute because they store inside one another. Actually, I really kind of like those. I like those for personal use. This looks like Fitz and Floyd. Oh, he's chipped. That's too bad. It doesn't say Fitz and Floyd, but boy, he sure has the look. Let's put you right up there. Let's see what we got on the little baggy wall here. More silverware. Oh. oh, that's a cool looking teapot with the wood handle. It's newer. It's not old, but it's Randani kitchenware. I don't know who makes that, but it's just, that's a neat, I don't even think it's not, that's not even real wood. It's just, it's faux, but it looks, it looks cool. I gotta give it an A for effort on that one. I do like the uh, battery operated candles. I have a bunch though. Okay, small appliances, nothing. Let's see what we've got in the artsy craftsy stuff. Pine cones, pine cones. We don't have a house with pine cones anymore. A little dog kennel. I'm looking at the acrylic paint, $7.99. That's not a super great price. Right. Let's see what we've got over here. Simply baked cocktail picks. I think I think this is mom's section. She likes the crafties. What are you crafting these days? Oh, there's dog blankets and dog beds. So we got to go look in the fabrics for some some fleece. These are cute. I feel like I could do something with these too. Okay, grabbing those for my projects. All right, we have made it to the lamps. What is this? He's not a lamp. He's a he's a lamp. He is a lamp. Okay, he's funny. He's missing ears though. Yeah, let's see. Oh, what is this? Just a stand? I wish it wasn't $8. I could use that, but I just don't think I can spend $8 on it. So, I will not. No. Nothing. Alright, pet section and such. Kind of nice little ceramic dog bowls, but 
Six dollars, I feel like they're not much more than that at Target or Walmart or wherever that brand comes from. All right, let's see. What are these? What are those little, some kind of a little curlery kind of thing? Okay. Mm. Nothing here. I do like this little apothecary jar, but I don't, I don't need it. All right. Let's see if there's any exciting art. What is this? Is this like Disney art or silhouette? I guess Disney is like the one that first did those. Now a lot of places do them. Oh my goodness, this is so packed in, I don't even want to like look through it. Which is not good, not good. Plus I really, really am not that interested in finding art. I like this frame. I kind of like this frame too, but I don't need any frames right now. Look at, I'm a little, a little enamored by the, uh, the animal animal behind shots. There's an elephant and a giraffe and a, and a zebra. So hopefully somebody can pick all those up together. Find more animals down there. Oh my gosh, look at the little baby deer. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at you as a little Bambi. Yeah, I don't need them. I don't need them. They're cute, but yeah, this is, this is how I feel about that right now. Take a little peek in the furniture here. Oh, I haven't even updated. Guess what I was able to get open? My armoire! I can use it now! But that just made me think of that. Oh my, that's uh, hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. The color on that was just a little too much. Just a little too much of the color going. Aww. It's a Xena dog. I sure do miss my Xena. Really, really miss my Xena. Four dollars on the little gnome pillows. I do believe these are actually new little fall overstock. Not super high quality though. All right, we are in the textiles. Oh, we have some Jack Skellington fuzzy socks. I wish those were new. They are not. Kids linens. So we're looking for some fleece for her to make doggy blankets out of. Not really seen anything in here. Nothing. 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 Oh, that's a yummy color. Okay. Okay, let's see. I like to look through the placemats and table linens. Let's see if there's anything. I don't see anything exciting. So based on the pricing I've seen so far, I don't think I'm probably going to be able to find anything even in the purses. But then, hey, maybe they'll surprise me. Yeah, like see, there's 7 dollars ones, so go figure, go figure. So we'll look and see. Because I think I'm going to do a purse sale this week. I think this is the week I've got plenty of purses to do an entire whatnot sale that is purses and so why not and if you're not familiar with whatnot it is an auction marketplace where everything runs in auction format and I like to start all my things at a dollar and then just see where they end up landing and I'm not exactly sure which day if I'm gonna do it Monday or Thursday I do Monday and Thursday whatnot sales and uh, if you haven't come over to Whatnot yet, be sure you look in the description. There is 
a link for $15 off your very first purchase. Ooh, that is so buttery soft patchwork. I think this actually is a vintage purse as opposed to vintage inspired. I think this really is vintage. It's $15 though. Mm, I don't think it's in good enough condition to pay 15. It's got some little spots here and there. It's a cool purse though. A little bit lower price than I would have I would have snagged that one. All right, let's play in the jewelry a little bit. Let's see what we've got in here that's fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. Birch Hill, I don't know Birch Hill. Not a name I'm familiar with. That's kind of cute, but that chain that it's on makes me think it's a little bit cheaper. Let's see what we got on the second row. Feathers. Ah. There's nothing screaming, take me out of the case. Nothing yet. Still nothing. It's kind of cool. It's kind of olive green. They look like wood beads. I see the wood one next to it. I'm kind of looking at that one, but it's not. It's not super great. And then they have another little case over here. Let's see what we've got. That's interesting. Mm, that's kind of cool. It's only two bucks. I might look at that one and I might look at the bracelet. Ooh, ooh, I might, I'm gonna look at that one too. I just have to remember, I know, I left the last store saying I was gonna look at something and I didn't end up looking at it. I'm gonna look at the amber beads too. Okay, there's some potentials in here. I wanna look at those. All right, all right, let's uh, get some help and look at some things. While I'm waiting for some assistance, I decided to look up this Barbara Hansen. Oh good, we got some help. I'm gonna get those Barbara Hansen earrings there. Yeah, these are really cool. I just looked them up, they're made in Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, why am I so zoomed in? Whoa. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get those for $2.99. And what else was it? Um, can I see this blue? Yep. And then that, the one next to the pink. The pink? Oh, this is really, yeah, this is plastic. Okay. I thought this might have been like butterfly wing, but that's plastic. This again looks like a little artisan piece. These are plastic beads, so no on those. Um, what else did I see? What else did I see? Uh, the brown and blue beads there on the second shell. Yep. No on those. Oh, this is, this is very cool. Oh, it's purple tag. It's half price. It's only $3 got that kind of boho thing going but uh, do I want that for three dollars I kind of like that one I like the colors I think I will get that one yeah I'll get that one okay she's got a basket for me and what else did I see um, yes and the earrings and now I forgot which I, I knew which ones I wanted to see. Um, is that a locket? Oh, it's missing something. Oh, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Okay. No. I think that was it. Look at this pin. 
It's like Dorothy's little red ruby slippers for $4. Okay, we're going to grab that too. Okay, that tag is just not cooperating. There it is. Okay, we're going to give the Halloween a quick skim. I have already sent off a big package to Jordan, so be sure you're following her channel if you want to see her reaction to what I sent. I can't wait. <laughs> Got some wings, pumpkin. There's nothing that we really are looking for or need, just if there's anything cool and vintage and that kind of a thing. Little pumpkin string lights. They're battery operated. I'm not a fan of battery operated. Oh my goodness. We've got scarecrows and metal yard art. They've mixed the uh, used and the new together here. So not as much stuff as you would think. All right, all right, now we're gonna go get in line. All right, I didn't get a whole lot, but I uh, got a couple pieces of jewelry, got some things for my crafting, and we're gonna head to the checkout. So stay tuned, I'll do a deep dive on the things I bought, take things out of bags, show you a little more, kind of let you inside my brain, and uh, we'll get Bougie's opinion as well. That's coming up right now. Okay, we got shop done. I think I got mostly crafting items versus resale items on that little uh, go around, but that's okay. And and mom found one, you found one blouse. Only one. Just one. Like, <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Are we going to another store? It's entirely up to you. Are you up for another one? My time is always free. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to hit another one, but of course you're going to have to hit subscribe to come back and see what we hit next. So until then, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you can see when we upload the continuation of this shopping day. All right, here comes the deep dive. Do you know what time it is? It's time to look at the haul. You wanna look at the haul with me? Yes. Are you very excited about this? Yes. Speak up, speak up, son, speak up. What do you have to say about that? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get Bougie's opinion and we're gonna look at all the goodies that I found at this store. Yeah, we are. So I'm hoping my lighting's okay. I don't have the big bright light over here because again, we are progressing to letting him stay out more and more. And I'm hoping that nothing is super spooky scary over here. Um, yes, we're still working on it. It's always, it's a work in progress, but I feel like, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do, Boosh. I am going to just, I'm going to put you in your cage so I can have the light on just for a little bit and then I'll let you back out. Okay, my camera is saying that this is much better. I'm really, really, I'm sorry. I'm going to let you back out momentarily, but I am not one of those YouTubers willing to put my children, my family, my pets in danger for the sake of a video. So we have to go with it. Uh, that little bag that I bought at the beginning contained all of these things right here. It was $5.99 for that bag. I will tell you, this little cannon right here, this little cannon pencil sharpener sells for $8 to $10. The little uh, pottery elephant that's Alaska clay, again, another, mm, I'm going to say $8 to $10, 5 to $8, 5 to 10 it just depends. Any given day can be a little bit different. This is actually, I believe, a Oaxacan elephant, which would be a little Native American elephant. This was somebody's collection. Again, 8 to 10, 8 to 10, 8 to 10. We've got this little sword here that actually says Spain, Toledo. Oops, let's get a focus on there. And oop, there it is. Toledo, Spain is marked on this little miniature sword, eight to 10. And then of course I got it for the little tortoises. And this one's very exciting. This one is actually an Akama. It is signed by the Native American artist, Patricio. That one right there was worth the bag. So this was an excellent little bag. Now these items, I do think I will run these in my whatnot sale versus putting them up on the site because they are like eight to $10 items. Uh, so the time to put in, you know, to do the listing and, and do all of that, not really worth 
for me, uh, that time, whereas on whatnot, it's really, really quick to, to turn around and sell these and, and get them shipped out. So those four items will appear on whatnot. These two are keepers. The little uh, Czechoslovakian vase is very interesting because I couldn't really find any comps on this, but there it is. Czechoslovakia is on the bottom. That's my uh, sticker schmooze. I haven't gotten off of there yet. It's got the tiny, tiny, tiniest of a little flea bite right along the edge. I don't think that deters from the value a whole bunch. It's not a super valuable piece by any stretch. It's just very interesting and very easy to get sold at a $12 to $15 price point. And the Toyo, this is a ginger jar that may have had a lid. It may have, but it works perfectly fine without having a lid. There is the maker on the bottom. It is peacocks. It is in beautiful colors. It's a nice sturdy piece as well. I like that about it. Uh, $5.99, I'll turn that into $25 to $30. The bust. I still don't know if I'm going to sell it or I'm going to keep it. I kind of love it for display so it may be in the niche lady shop.com at you know the higher end of the the valuation i put on it that way i wouldn't regret it if it sells um uh, and i'm and i have like 25 to 30 on this i could be i could be off it could be worth a lot more than that it's pretty fabulous actually <laughs> if you love butterflies like that that is a really crazy cool piece so we're going 25 to 30 on that, but I did buy it for a personal display item. So if it doesn't sell, I won't be disappointed. I will use it in the store. This is a brand to be on the lookout for, Caruth Studios. They are these like a cement garden plaque, very heavy. You can see cement. This one's made to hang on a wall. These can go outside. The little maker's mark is right there you can see it Caruth um, and oh there we go this one is a Christmas theme which I don't normally find them in Christmas themes so that's kind of cool uh, this one should sell in the 30 to 40 dollar range Caruth Studios very highly collected anything that goes in the garden too people will pay up for I don't know I don't know why because when you're guess you're decorating your garden. It's all about the emotion of what you want your garden to look like. So it's about what it is, not how much it costs sometimes. Skip over here to these. Now I didn't pick up the glasses and I picked up these and I'll tell you why. These are Libby. They're the antique cars. They come in like the glassware that you saw on the shelves. They come in different uh, bar glass sizes. The little bowls interested me because if they don't sell, again, if they don't sell, I will make assemblage pieces out of these. And I need some masculine items to make kind of some, you know, some guy giftable kind of things. So these are, these are kind of, kind of groovy for that perfect little size. And uh, so that's why I picked those up and I didn't pick the glassware up. All right, let's talk about my obsession with fake fruits and vegetables. I don't know why, but I do love the paper mache and the paper mache will sell. I put these, I had four bags of it and I put them into groupings of how I'm going to sell them kind of based on, you know, I put all the like the white veggies together. I put the longer veggies together. I just made a little mix, mix match there with the tomatoes and the peppers and the and the mushroom and then I put the four fruits together and each one of these little you figure like two to four dollars a piece on what they are so I say I have five of them there the value for that little grouping is going to be anywhere from uh, ten to twenty dollars you know it's got a mushroom mushrooms worth a little bit more so you just have to gauge it by how interesting the vegetables are and how many pieces you have that's kind of how you figure out the pricing on that let's talk about the jewelry that i did pick up i know i forgot to look at the amber beads i was i felt i felt so pressured to remember what i wanted to look at because she was kind of like standing over me and it was really busy uh, but i knew i wanted these barbara hansen uh, they're polymer clay and shell they're made in hawaii 
She has a website. I couldn't find any on eBay, but she does have a website. And these sell for $28 on the website. Actually, not even ones with turtles. Ones without turtles sell for $28. So I thought these are a pretty certain 12 to 15 uh, that's not like on a personal website. I'm not, you know, she's doing marketing. She's got a following. She can charge a little bit more for her jewelry. Whereas on the resale market, we have to cut that down a little bit because we're not Barbara Hansen. Uh, the ruby reds, the ruby red slippers, obviously uh, very, very Dorothy vibe. I don't see a maker's mark. They're enameled. They have the, the glittery sparkle underneath. Those are just absolutely fabulous. If you love Wizard of Oz, I've got a valuation of 12 to 15 on these. I feel like they could go for a little bit more just because, uh, but that's what we'll go with. And I paid $4, so I'm, I'm good with that margin. And then I did pick up the little brown and blue little tiny boho beaded multi-strand. It's on a leather. Uh, it's got a little lobster claw closure there. I have a lot of requests for the boho jewelry, aka hippie jewelry. I thought this was a perfect piece that will sell for $12 to $15. So what do you think? Was it a good haul? Do you like, you like all the veggies, huh? Because they're so colorful and they're, yeah. He's so smart. He already knows what's happening next. Hey, hey, you don't get it yet. I can't even say the word. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> Did you just laugh at me? You did. You just laughed at me, didn't you? How about a dance? And then I'll give you a pistachio. But we gotta dance first, ready? First, let's say, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next. Boosh. Get down, boogie yogi yogi. 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 I guess he's just not a singer.